Good morning all and welcome to today's employment forum. Thank you for joining us today. For those of you who have joined us previously, you'll know it's quite a packed day. Um, lots of excellent speakers and panellists from a range of businesses um, and industry sectors. Before we kick off um, our keynote presentations, I would firstly like to introduce you to Lee Holloway, a former Navy officer and our fantastic CEO here at the OA. So Lee, if you could formally introduce the event, I'll hand over to you. Okay, so good morning, everybody. Um, thank you for uh, taking the time to to join the as as we said the fourth uh, uh, forum we've held held this year. Um, we're only able to do this sort of thing at the level we do do it with the because we get support from companies and people in those companies who who help us uh, deliver this sort of capability. And today, I really would like to uh, give a big thank you to, to Elbit Systems and Martin Fossett, who I think is going to be uh, joining us today. Anyway, you'll be meeting him. Um, a very big thank you to them for, for sponsoring this event and their support and helping Esme to put Esme and Chris to put together this event for all those who are taking part. Uh, we've got about, uh, as, uh, as we said, I think 251 people joining today. So please do use this, uh, this opportunity to ask questions, get your concerns out in the open and listen to those who are speaking. Um, the world is coming more alive. I'm in London uh, today for the first time, to be honest, in about five months. And I can almost feel the city starting to, to, to wake up. And uh, not many of you will know this, but the Office Association actually uh, has, uh, owns uh, a commercial um, uh, recruitment company. And talking to the managing director of that company, companies are starting to hire again. They're starting to backfill the places they lost. They're starting to use this opportunity to, if you can call it an opportunity, to, um, to rebuild the talent within their organizations. So things are looking positive. It's a good time to get things in line again. Please, after this uh, forum, uh, get in touch with the OA through uh, OA Recruit and Use our career consultants. They have huge amount of experience. They've been doing this for years. They're very good. I regularly get um, emails uh, from people telling me how well they've done and how helpful they've been. So do use them. And obviously you get access to the, the, new, uh, uh, the, the new platform. We have the employment platform we have where the jobs themselves are, are displayed and, and they're, for you, uh, they're for you to access. So I'm gonna let uh, Esme run the day enjoy yourselves as i said pose the questions difficult as they may be doesn't matter that's what we're here for and we're here to do everything we can to help for, help you and um i'll look forward to hearing the uh, the feedback on the day and see how we can carry this going forward improve it where we where we can and uh, as always try and improve what we do so thank you very much esme Thanks, Lee. Um, so I'm now absolutely thrilled to introduce our headline sponsor, Elbit Systems UK. So for those of you who aren't aware, Elbit are at the forefront of technological innovation within the defence industry. So as their presence in the UK grows, they want to recruit more talented individuals um, to build a cohesive and a diverse workforce across a wide, a wide range of areas. Um, so we just really want to thank you again for enabling us to run these types of events um, and support officers as they look for new careers. So absolutely delighted to welcome Elbit's um, CEO, Martin Fawcett. Um, so Martin will give us some insights as to why Elbit value officer talent so much. Um, Martin, I'll hand over to you, thank you. Thank you, Esme, and hopefully I'm not on mute. So uh, uh, first of all, I'd like to um, say how pleased we are to be able to sponsor this event, to participate in it, uh, both myself and my colleagues. And I hope uh, all of those of you watching and listening find it useful. Uh, I'd like to start by just saying a little bit about Elbit Systems UK, introduce the company if you haven't heard of it, and talk a bit about uh, our future plans. So Elbit Systems UK is the UK end of a large aerospace and defence corporation, uh, Elbit Systems Limited. It operates as a um, global business. As I said, in 20 countries, our biggest customer is the US Department of Defence, and then our second business customer is the Israeli Defence Force. So as you will probably understand, we are ultimately owned, our parent company is in Israel. So we operate um, in this country across 10 sites. We've got about 500 people. We have a very diverse activity, which has been going for a number of years. And we're in the middle of a, a very large expansion program. So we are uh, very much recruiting and growing our business in order to address the UK market. 
So unlike many sectors, defence during the pandemic has been quite strong and we've been successfully winning programmes and uh, bidding for competitions in the UK all through the period that we've all been locked down. So um, Elbit is a disruptive company. It's an innovator. It's got fantastic technology that comes from our parent divisions in Israel. And it's my job to bring it to the UK market in a way that makes sense for the end users, the front line, for the MOD acquisition team in DNS, and for us to be able to deliver uh, projects, technology, capability in accordance with the customer's needs. In order to do that, I'm trying to blend the energy, the innovation, the technology and the urgency you see uh, in Israeli companies uh, and in the state of Israel, frankly, in some cases, you've all witnessed the vaccination program activity over there, I'm sure. But that sort of energy needs to be blended in a way with a clear UK customer understanding, uh, real intent um, relationships between ourselves and the front line to really understand what's needed, the capability that's required, the challenges you face on a day to day basis in order to put that unique blend together. So I'm trying to fuse the best of both, the best of the UK, the best of Israel, and to offer um, our customers here in this, this country, perhaps something different and slightly disruptive and innovative. So far, that's working very well. So uh, just to give you a, an overview of our activities here in the UK at the moment, uh, with our a joint venture partner, we have 42 aircraft, which are the fixed wing fleet of aircraft for the military flying training system. So we own and operate that fleet of aircraft for all three services as they train their pilots. We have um, the UAV program, the Army's Watchkeeper program. So we make all those UAVs in the UK and continue to support and upgrade them in service. We have a whole series of programs for the Army a number for the Royal Artillery. We have some training and simulation activity and are continuing to win uh, army programs, particularly in the digital area. So the recent defense review that many of you will be aware of uh, signposted a future for what they call a digital backbone and such concepts as multi-domain integration. And those are right up our street. We've been doing that for many, many years in a number of countries, not just Israel. And so that kind of understanding and technology is very much uh, our strong suit. And we're going to be bringing some of that to the UK, we hope, in future. We've already uh, won some programmes under the Army's uh, Morpheus and digital programme upgrades. Uh, we have um, a couple of programmes for the Navy. So we are delighted to be in the Fisher Consortium. Uh, which has won the Selborne program for the Royal Navy. So that is the transformation of future Navy training uh, for the next 12 years. A very ambitious uh, program launched by the Royal Navy and contracted at the end of last year. And we're one of four companies in a consortium that will be delivering that. Our role in that program is to be the future simulation and synthetic provider. So uh, all of the devices, all of the simulation for Future Submarine School and a number of other Royal Navy training institutions will be provided by us over this period. So for us, it's an exciting time. Uh, we are building our team, we're growing. Uh, we're very interested in people with former military experience. We have a number already, uh, uh, but we need people who can operate and thrive in that mixture, that mixed culture of innovation and energy from our parent company. Uh, and our own intimacy with the custom requirements. So uh, this is a very relevant subject, I think, for the Officers Association, and which we support and have uh, um, been able to successfully recruit people through your process. Uh, and they, I, ho I hope you'll hear later, uh, are enjoying their time in Elbit. So you, you will be joining an organisation where you will see people with um, similar backgrounds and uh, like minds. So I think that's uh, also encouraging. So I think that's probably enough for me. I think I probably had about my five minutes, but I would like to reiterate my uh, pleasure at being able to participate in this event, to sponsor it, and to um, say a few words at the start. So thank you very much, Esme.
Thanks, Martin. Um, and thanks for that. We feel really lucky that you were able to join us this morning. Um, and just so everyone's aware, we will be joined by the team at Elbit later today. Um, so they'll give you a more a, a detailed presentation on the types of opportunities they have um, and, and what they look for in candidates as well. So you'll be able to hear that um, later on this afternoon.